Me, 27F, with my boyfriend slash husband, 32M, of almost a decade has feelings for employee and cannot fire her. Hi R slash relationships, I am sorry for the long post. I am really not in a good place right now, and I need your help. I've been a long time lurker of this subreddit, and I am a first time poster. I never thought I would have to post here, but life throws you some curveballs sometimes, and I am still coming to terms with this. My boyfriend, who I consider my husband, and I have been together for nearly a decade. He is my first boyfriend, and I his first girlfriend. He is the one I can say means most to me in the world. When I think about him, I think of him as my partner in crime, the person I felt that I would grow old with. I know everything about him and I felt before this all happened that I could really say that I know what he is thinking at all times. I always felt that he placed me first in front of all things, even his family. He has moved to be with me because I am in an intense graduate program far from his hometown, and I really thought that we would spend the rest of our lives together. Now, I cannot say I know what he is thinking anymore. I don't know who this person is anymore. This person who I have known for almost all of my adult life. My boyfriend recently embarked in a business venture in the past year. We have worked on this together, from inception to finally the success we thought that would happen. It was very scary, but it's great to see the business we knew would flourish actually do so. I helped him in every way I could, despite being in my intense graduate program. Because I cannot help him as much as I want to, my family has put all their heart into helping him too, because he has started this business all by himself so far away from his support system. So when my family first started noticing that he was acting differently, it was really a shock to everyone and I did not believe it. My family told me that he was acting very close to his female employee. He treats her very specially, that it was very different than how he treats other employees. He helps her with her duties. She asks for him to do things for her, and he does. He lights up when he sees her. It has been a very busy half year for him, so I know he doesn't get much sleep. But my family reported to me that he acts so happy and talking with her, but when she leaves and it is just my family there with him, it's like he is a zombie. He complains about how tired he is, and just sits at the computer and doesn't seem as energetic as before. I heard all these things, and I really thought my family was crazy. I denied and denied everything because it was so far-fetched to me that he would care for somebody else. I decided to ignore it, and place my confidence in him rather than my family. But in my gut, when I was there at his business, I also saw differently. When I was there at the business, I saw him hovering around her and helping her, when there were so many workers there that day who could fulfill those duties. One day, I came in in the mid-afternoon. It was my first time seeing him all day, he sees me and greets me quickly. And as I sit there, I see him on the camera. He had run out to see his female employee, who was there on her day off in line to place an order. He was talking to her for nearly three to four minutes before he came back in. He was smiling at her, and it hurt me so much. I thought it was odd that he could run out and talk to someone in so much detail, rather than talking to me first. I have not seen him very much all this time, and he is always there at the business with his female employee. The female employee actually sees him more than I see him. She works with him nearly 8 hours a day 5 or 6 days out of the week. I see him only 2 hours a day, and that is at night when he comes home, tired and sleepy. When he is there at the business with her, it is not very busy. So he spends his time helping her with her duties and talking with her. He talks to her more than he has been talking to me. My sister lives in another state, and knows about all these concerns my family had which I at the time denied. My sister believed me and also thought the best of my boyfriend, so she was on our side initially. My sister came home for the holidays, and she had helped at the business as well, and after she left, she told me that she could feel that there was something different about their relationship. My heart hurt, but I still denied that he could be like this. This all came to a head this past week. We spent all night discussing if he had feelings for this girl. He denied and then fell asleep after several late night hours of arguing. The next day, I called him. He picks up and says hello sounding very sad and not like himself. I ask him, why don't you ever talk to me anymore? 
I asked him this because he never texts me or anything throughout the day with his observations or thoughts. He doesn't share anything with me anymore. He has been distant. After silence and me asking over and over if he has feelings for this girl, he finally breaks down and he says yes, he does. My heart broke in two, I could not focus. All night I was crying. I hurt so much. God, I have never hurt so much because of another person. When he came home that night, I told him that he can't see her anymore. All of this came about because he was talking with this girl and seeing her more than me, and I can understand that. But he needs to stop seeing her, and these feelings will go away. Because she is his employee, what this would entail for him to do is to fire her. We again argue and I cry late into the night about this. He says he cannot do it, he can only cut ties gradually. He leaves it at that and falls asleep. The next day at work, I could not focus, I was thinking about this all day. I get home early, turn on the computer that has the camera feed from the business, and I see him still helping her with her duties. Smiling, laughing and talking with her, sharing the same food with her. She literally grabs what he is eating and puts it in her mouth and eats the same piece. My heart broke. I cried so much when I saw this. How can he be so happy and eating with another woman when my heart is breaking? He came home early that day, I told him you cannot see this girl anymore. He again maintains that the only way to do it is gradually. I finally give him the ultimatum, he was not afraid of me leaving. He does not give me a clear answer, he thinks the only way is gradually. I ask him what gradually means? He cannot tell me. I spend all night asking him so nicely, can you not see her anymore? Don't schedule for her any more hours. Can you please do that, for me? I spent hours talking to him, please I ask, do this for me. Please. He finally says as much in his silence that he cannot. He says it will hurt this girl if he fires her, and he cannot do such a cruel and evil thing. He says he chooses us, but he wants to do it gradually, because he doesn't want to hurt this girl. He wants to make us both happy. He again falls asleep as I talk with him. But if he continues to talk with her and continue seeing her, this will not make me happy at all. He cannot do the hard thing for me and cut off all ties. This says something to me, that he is placing another person in front of me. My heart already hurts so much seeing them interact together, I cannot continue to see them together like this. I cannot believe he would not, what he sees in his eyes, hurt this girl at the expense of hurting someone who should be like his family, who has known him for almost 10 years. This female employee he has only known for 2 to 3 months. Reddit, what should I do? I love this person so much, but I cannot agree with him placing this female employee's feelings above my own, the person who is basically his wife and he should consider their feelings in all things. He should not want to see me hurt as much as I do for him. TLDR, my boyfriend confesses to me he has feelings for his employee. I tell him to cut off all ties and fire her, he cannot because he will hurt his employee, despite knowing that I'm in so much pain seeing him interact with this girl. Update sorry it is long again TLDR, boyfriend wants me to stay so we can work together through his crush as a couple I can't sleep guys. Here is what has transpired today to update you all. My family came to speak with my boyfriend today about the whole situation, because I told my family I wanted to move back home. I am not sure what they said, but my family told me that my boyfriend was coming home to talk to me. When I see him, he looked like a different man than the one I was speaking to the night before, who was so unresponsive and unable to answer me as I questioned if he could fire her. He says that he talked to the employee and she actually resigned. She told him that she couldn't come between us, and so she is resigning. I asked him to see this conversation, and he is hesitant to say but he admits it is no longer available because he was talking to her on Snapchat. He admits to using Snapchat to speak with her throughout all this time. I asked him why the change of heart when he was so reluctant yesterday to do anything. He says he wanted to do it gradually meaning that he wanted to talk to her first about the situation so he doesn't hurt her. I ask him if he is able to cut off all communication with her through all forms of social media. He basically says he can't. He wants to continue talking to her, in a professional sense according to him, basically just random chatting like they were doing before. Later on after we argue more, 
he agrees to cut communication although very hesitantly. We try to go back to normal and plan about what we are doing later. But I am still hurting, due to his hesitation. I take his phone away from him, and remove the female employee's contact from all his social media accounts. He grabs his phone back from me and kind of glares at me. He says I am being controlling and she is so innocent in all this, because she said she doesn't want to come between us. He says that maybe the crush was all on his own part, he wonders if she was actually hurting when he told her the situation that we were all in and she decided to resign. I speak to him in detail about his feelings for this girl and try to imagine it from his perspective as I was explaining it to him. He admits to being very confused about his feelings for her. He says he has been struggling with this for a while, and he felt very guilty that he could feel this way about another when he had me. As we exhausted our talk, I felt defeated, because I cannot understand how he can like someone else so much when he supposedly loves me. I began to pack my bags. He trails after me wherever I went and looks at me very sadly. My heart hurt seeing us like this. He needed to go back to the business but told me he was going to come back and talk with me some more. He comes back and sees me lying in bed. He comes and holds me and asks me if it will ever be the same between us. He says he still sees our future together. I didn't want to speak, and he very pointedly said why are you acting like a zombie? I think he definitely read my previous post because he is a Redditor. I finally replied and said I wasn't sure. I again question him if he is able to cut off all communication. He says that that would hurt too much. That it needs to be gradual. That he has already done the hard thing by letting her go from the business. He asks if I can stay here with him and not go back to my family's house and help guide him through this. I cannot fathom how he can still think to talk to her on social media despite of what he was putting us through. I am upset, tired, and resigned. Trying to fall asleep later by myself, I log back into Reddit and read your posts. I came across one of the reply posts detailing crushes and how to work through them as a couple. I recall back to our first blow up about this, and my boyfriend referenced this very same article, he is a redditor. He told me to read it at the time, but I didn't want to because I was so hurt. I remembered him saying that he struggled with his guilt for liking someone else for a while, and he wondered how he could feel this way about someone else when he had me. He looked it up on this subreddit and came across this article. That is how he decided he wanted to break it off gradually with her. That is why he told me that he had feelings for her, because he wanted us to work through this as a couple. He says he still feels the same way he has felt about us before all of this, but now there's just this other person who he cares about too. I feel that I perhaps can see his perspective after thinking about all this. I don't necessarily understand how he can do this to our relationship, because I cannot imagine liking another person so intensely while I have my partner. So I am again at an impasse. He wants me to stay to help him through this, and I feel so hurt and betrayed that he can care for another. If I stay, then what if I can't help him through this? What if he is not able to overcome this crush and I get hurt in the end? I also have very many responsibilities, and I can't be there all the time to help him. I can't be wondering all the time about what he is doing when I need to focus my energy on my studies. How can I know he won't slip up again? Hi guys, I promise to love you if you like, comment, and subscribe. You begged him to pick you. You cried and told him your heart was breaking. Op he's picking her. He says it will hurt this girl if he fires her, and he cannot do such a cruel and evil thing. So he doesn't consider an emotional affair to be cruel and evil? Because it is, and that's what he's doing. Yep, he's more concerned about hurting this girl than hurting his wife who is theoretically his partner in life. There's no gradual way to fire someone. Remember when he lied and lied for hours about his feelings for her? That's a thing that he does. And he's doing it now. Gradually is a lie that means maybe eventually if I decide that I feel like it. I, 23M, broke up with my GF, 22F, of almost 7 years after she confessed making out with another man. I previously wrote about my problem on this subreddit a few days ago but I deleted my old post because I was getting upset while rereading what I wrote. I taught a lot and come to terms with myself and what happened. She confessed kissing another dude, told me about it pretty much immediately. But that doesn't change anything. 
I tried to get over it but I couldn't do it. I've given up. I thought she was the love of my life. I loved her to peaceful deletion. All my dreams are shattered. Our future kids, house, gone. Even our dog's name was decided. But she exchanged all of these 30 minutes of fun. I broke up with her. I just had to. I still love her to peaceful deletion but I can't trust her anymore. I can't build a future with someone who I can't even trust anymore. Nothing can repair the damages of infidelity. I gave her my love, I've been always loyal and truthful. I did not deserve this. The thing makes me so upset is, I also lost my best friend. We grew up together. Literally everything reminds me of her. She was my first love. She gave me my first ever kiss. We've done so many things for the first time together. All I am trying to do right now is looking at the positives because that's the only thing I can do. I'm still young. We weren't married yet, had no shared assets, no kids etc. I'm just glad that I discovered what she's capable of, before things get more complicated. Did I do the right thing right? Will the pain eventually go away? TL, doctor, I broke up with my cheating GF. Now I'm trying to justify my decision make the pain go away. So when I was in a similar situation, one recurring thought was that I'd never have that kind of love ever again. And you know what? I was 100% right. Each time you fall in love it's different. But not worse. And often better. The love I did and do feel for my late wife is so much deeper, complex, and layered than my first love. Your first love is impetuous, you jump in head first. And you had years to enjoy that. That's great. You'll never recreate that, just as you can never recreate the first time you rode a bike without training wheels. That was an amazing feeling. But later you learned to drive and there were so many more possibilities available. You could take a road trip, you can drive out of the city and go camping, you can drive to the zoo or to a club. You can't do those on a bike. And your next love will build on the lessons you've learned and be even more spiritually fulfilling. Whether you realize it or not, you learned and grew a lot as a person due to this relationship and are going to be that much more prepared when you meet your forever partner.